I'll let these guys kind of give an opening statement real quick on, uh, you know, playing in TVT and how excited they are. And then we'll open the floor up to some questions. Anyone wants to answer any questions, feel free to just raise your hand. Octavius, we'll start with you and then we'll go to Shaq and then we'll open the floor up for questions. Okay. Octavius, how excited are you about playing in TVT this year? I'm very excited, you know, to be playing, especially to be playing with a group, a good group of guys that I'm, I'm very uh, uh, known with playing with. So I'm happy, I'm just happy to, I'm just, the main part is I'm just happy to be playing with my uh, ex-teammates, old brothers. Jack, same to you. Yeah, yeah. Also, just to kind of piggyback on what um, Octavia was saying, um, I'm just more so happy to go back, you know, to Cincinnati and play in front of Cincinnati fans and, you know, um, you know, not playing with fans overseas for the last couple of years have been, you know, kind of tough with COVID and everything. So I think it's, you know, it's a lot of excitement for, you know, this group of guys to come back and, you know, and especially play back in Cincinnati in front of them uh, UC fans. You know, I'm very excited for that. Tavis, how often do you get back to, to Cincinnati? <clears throat> um, I haven't been back to, like, on campus in some years. It's been a long time. It's probably um, it's probably been about I want to say like four years, five years since I've been on campus. Mm -hmm. Jack, what are your your? Th we got a question here from Gary Miller. Go ahead, Gary. Okay. Hey guys, um, you know you got the scrimmage on the Saturday before the actual tournament starts. How much are you looking forward to that, and how much will that help you prepare for the tournament itself, which is one and done. Yeah, um, I think it's gonna help us out a lot just to get a feel um, for for each other. You know, we all are different parts of our professional careers and play different roles on different teams. So I think it'd be a great tune up for us to go against a you know a good team like Xavier that Saturday. And you know, obviously we're gonna have a couple of practices before that. We try and get guys in a little bit, but um, early that week. So I, I think it would be very exciting, you know, to see some of the old guys and you know, especially play at Xavier, you know. How much motivation is it in the, you know, you want to win the tournament, you want to win the million dollar prize, winner take all, but to know you got to win a couple of games in order to get Xavier <laughs> when it really counts. <laughs> How much motivation is that going to be for those other two games to say, hey, we've got to get this Xavier game? Um, I, I don't think it's, you know, we're just taking it one game at a time, you know, um, it's a, obviously one and done tournament. It's a lot of great talent in the tournament. So we just taking it one day at a time and, and one game at a time, you know, we, we, I know the city would love for that matchup, you know, but, um, you know, we just taking it one game at a time. What were you guys doing in, in years past? How much did you pay attention to TBT? when you weren't participating and how excited are you to be in it this for your, yourself to be playing in it? Uh, who, who answered the question? Me or Shaq? Either one or both. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, I've been, I've been following it a lot because, you know, um, I have like uh, ex teammates play plays in it. Um, friends plays in it. So I just, always uh, had my eye on the TBT, but I never just got a chance to just really get the chance to just be on the team and play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also, um, yeah, I'm, I was very familiar with TBT. You know, um, I have a close friend, uh, Rafael Putney, from um, team last year, and, you know, I was, I was, you know, upset for him that they lost their championship, but I, I, I've been very in tune with it you know um i just been you know just busy with you know being overseas and having a long season and i just thought it was the perfect time just to have a team this year H haven't seen it what do you think your guys chances are of winning the whole thing and getting that million dollar prize uh, i think that that all depends on us it depends on um, how we approach the tbt which i'm pretty sure we're going to approach it because that's what we are coming to do. We're not there to just waste time and uh, have a, a, a memory uh, banquet or something like that. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, this is why we got this uh, good core group of guys. Um, we are all professional. So like Shaq said, we're just going to take it one game at a time. Mm -hmm. Shaq, you think you, you guys got what it takes to win this thing? Haven't seen what it does take? Yeah, yeah, I definitely do. I think with our versatility, our size, 
And, you know, the only guy that played with, with the, out of the seven core guys that went to uh, UC was Cumberland. So, you know, even Trey, he redshirted my senior year. So, you know, I'm very familiar with the guys. I know what they bring to the table, you know, and I think everybody's at a good stage in their professional career and, you know, everybody's doing well. And, you know, I, I think if, you know, we come out and, and we bring that old Cincinnati Bearcat defense and, and that intensity, you know, I, I think we have a good chance. One last question for both you guys, you know, with – the Bearcats going to the Big 12 after next season. Uh, how excited are you to think about what it would have been like? How much would you have loved to have played teams like Kansas, and Baylor, and you'll get Oklahoma and Texas until they go to the SEC? How excited are you guys about your alma mater moving into the Big 12? Uh, that's, that right there, that's big time. Like you said, like, I can only imagine playing against those, like, top teams on the every other night basis. Like, that would have yeah. been crazy <laughs> yeah yeah I, I got a little bit of taste of the big east for one year so you know um I, I think it's definitely great for the school you know for the school and you know for, for, for the players there i think it's going to be great for the program football basketball and all sports there so all right thanks guys great stuff for me all right no problem thanks gary we're going to bring on neil meyer now for a couple questions go ahead neil Hey, Shaq. Hey, Octavius. Um, for a team that had so much success back in college, I know this TBT team, everyone really, seven of the ten guys played together. Could you just talk about what it was like to bring that team back together that had so much success back in college for the TBT tournament with the chance to win that million-dollar prize? Yeah, um, it was pretty much, um, you know, I, I text Octavius, Kev, um, Troy, um, you know, trade from time to time. And, you know, we all stay in contact with each other. And when Kev had told me, um, I think it was around December or uh, I think it was around that time he had told me that they was having um, a, uh, the location was going to be in Cincinnati, Xavier. So, you know, we all got in a group chat and, you know, we started talking about it and um, it just all just came together. I just thought it was just the perfect time for, you know, all of us to come back, you know, back to Cincinnati, especially playing in Cincinnati, I, I, I think it's going to be a great atmosphere. Awesome. I know you guys mentioned, too, that the opportunity to play together and everyone was at different stages of their career. Just talk about the versatility that guys like Trey, uh, Javon, Jacob bring, but also for a guy that didn't play at UC and Isaiah Miller, just talk about what that versatility brings to the table as Isaiah and Trey both dominated the G League this year. Davies, you want to take that one? Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, like in today's game of basketball, today, uh, it's positionless basketball. That's what guys like uh, Trey Scott, you know, uh, Shaquille Thomas, you know, he can uh, play some four. Uh, Shaq, he can guard uh, one through five. Um, I really don't uh, know much about Isaiah Miller and, and the, uh, the other guy game because, you know, I'm, I'm overseas and we really don't watch a lot of uh, uh, NBA basketball over there because it'd be hard to, uh, like. Yes, yes, 7 yeah. o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah. 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. You got to get that rest. Right, exactly. But, yeah, we bring a lot of um, versatility uh, to the table. I know. I was talking to Kevin after the conference last week, uh, but he mentioned how he really wanted to establish the culture and bring in some of Wes Miller's former players. Uh, could you just talk about what that means to really back uh, Wes Miller and what he's doing here in Cincinnati in his second year, uh, especially as they make that transition to the Big 12? Yeah, I, I think that, um, you know, I'm fully committed and um, – far as, you know, supporting him and, you know, especially being a UC player that actually won at UC and, you know, had a good career and all of that, you know, I'm definitely in full support and, and, and what he trying to change the program around to and, and things he's trying to do. And I think definitely going to the Big 12 is, is going to be great for, you know, the program for Cincinnati and just really get back to that Bearcat, the, the Bearcat way. Awesome. My last question for you guys is knowing that this is the first ever team uh, for the Bearcats in the uh, TBT. Could you just walk us through what those conversations were like when Kevin first approached you guys to come along and join the ride? I ain't gonna lie. I was, uh, I was excited. I was really yeah. excited. 
when they first brought it to my attention, I immediately was like, yeah, I, I got to do this. Yeah. It was a, yeah. I didn't have no doubts in my mind. Then once Kevin started saying like, yeah, we're going to bring this player, that player, like I was like, yeah, yeah, we can rock with this. Like This this would be a good team. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty much the same, too. Um, you know, we all got in a group, FaceTime. Actually, Troy and Octavius, it was in the same country this year. So, um, yeah. you know, we, we, we called guys up, and, you know, it, it was a yes for me. It, it was a no-brainer, you know. So, you know, I was, I was very excited when, you know, Kev had mentioned it to me, you know. Um, and I'm just happy that we went through it. And, you know, I'm just excited to get back out there in front of, you know, the, the whole UC fans and, and just, just to get back out there. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. No problem. Well, that's all the questions we have here. So I want to thank Octavius and Shaq for coming out and doing this for a couple minutes. Uh, we'll distribute a recording of this uh, over email, and uh, we'll see everyone in Cincinnati in a couple weeks. Appreciate it. All, all right. right. Cool. Thank you, man. Have okay. a good day. All right. Have a good one.